Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create a private cluster in Google Kubernetes engine. So this is a type of a VPC native cluster. In a private cluster, node only have internal IP addresses, which means that nodes and pods are isolated from the internet by default. So internal IP addresses for nodes come from the primary IP address range of the subnet we choose for the cluster. Pod IP addresses and service IP addresses come from two subnets secondary IP addresses ranges of that same subnet and the GKE versions 1.14.2 and later support any internal IP address ranges including private ranges and privately reused public IP ranges as well and before you begin as I told you earlier make sure that Google Kubernetes Engine API is enabled and if you have configured G Cloud you can create that using G Cloud in it or G Cloud config. Else, you can use the portal as well. So, and in private clusters, the control plane, which is the master, has a private and a public endpoint. So, there are three configuration combinations to control access to the cluster endpoints public endpoint access disabled. This will create a private cluster with no client access. To the public endpoint, public endpoint access enabled authorized network access. This will create a private cluster with limited access to the public endpoint. Another is public endpoint access enabled authorized network disabled. This will create a private cluster with unrestricted access to the public endpoint. So let me just log on to the Google console and take it from there. This is my previous one which was not completed because of the quota limit so let me refresh this all right so now i'm gonna click on create cluster it will load I got it now. To the click, click the create cluster button for the name. Enter my subnet dash zero, and from the navigation pane under cluster, click name. Sorry, click. Navigation pane under cluster, click on networking. It says public cluster or private cluster. It gives you two options, right? Now leave network and node subnet set to default. So this network node set to default. And then select the private cluster checkbox here. And now clear the access master using its external IP address checkbox. So I have disabled that. Now set the master IP range to this 172.16.28 slash 28 From the navigation panel under cluster, click on security. Now ensure the issue a client certificate checkbox is cleared. This one is clear, it should not be checked. So, what does it do? Not recommended. Permanent setting client use this based 64 encoded public certificate to authenticate to the cluster endpoint. Certificates don't rotate automatically, they are difficult to revoke. To maximize security, leave disabled. You are still able to authenticate to the cluster with basic authentication. I don't know then why is this option given if this is not recommended. Okay, let's leave it aside and set it unchecked now you can click on create here it is submitting my request i'm of again thinking if this would also be not approved because of the quota limit let's see still 
Till now it's going good. So let me just pause and come back after it's done. Okay then. So this is created. I click on it. So the primary range of this cluster, which is mice net zero, the the secondary range used for pot. For example, suppose you create a VM in the primary range of this cluster. Then on that VM, you could configure kubectl to use the internal IP addresses of the control plane. If you want to access the control plane from outside this mice net zero, you must authorize at least one address range to have access to the private endpoint. If you want to access the control plane from outside, let's say suppose you have a VM that is in the default network in the same region of as your cluster, but not in my subnet zero. So let's say for example, your my subnet is 10.0.0.0 slash 22. Your port. So let me do this. Give me a minute. Let's use this area, right? So let's say your uh, my subnet is 10.0.0 slash 22, and your port secondary range is 10.52.0 slash 14, and then your VM address is 10.128.3. You could authorize the VM to access the control plane by using gcloud command. And if you want to create a private cluster with limited access to the public endpoint, so when creating a private cluster using the configuration, you can choose to use an automatically generated subnet or a custom subnet. That is how you create a private cluster. So I hope this was informative to all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.